Hello YouTube, welcome to Big Time Nights here for Angel Season 4, Episode 1. And yeah, the the whole uh what's gonna happen to Angel? Like how is he gonna <laughs> how's he gonna get out of the situation he's in? Like buried in the sea, like who knows how far down he is. Like it has to be like some supernatural way that he could come back. Um but anyways let's find out you know uh but thanks for uh, everyone that's been uh, joining for this ride it's been fun and uh over on the buffy side it's the last season of buffy uh so that should be fun and exciting but anyways here we are so make sure to like the video comment what you think about this episode and subscribe to the channel all right guys here we go you're not hungry no i'm starving i just i want to freeze this moment this is definitely a dream that Angel's probably having. <laughs> yeah, family would never be this cool. <laughs> Happy and together. Considering what we went through over the summer. His ideal of a dream family for him. Wes is there too. I actually forgot about Wesley. The family. As long as it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> and Angel's eating? He doesn't eat. And if anything tries, I'm gonna have to go out glowy and personally kick its ass. I like it when you glow. Well, see ya. Oh, damn, what the? Smart. <laughs> I can poke your eyes out. <laughs> Come on, Dad, it'll stick up like yours. You should be so lucky. Let's <laughs> eat. Mm. It's gonna cut to like. The worst shit happening. <laughs> or him him still kind of stuck and sinking. I like this stuff. Okay. I thought you would. Can I get the uh, mm. delicious oh, carrots? It smells so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing me now before my stomach explodes. Hey, try the gravy. Yeah, look, it comes a little bone. Can I get that? <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone. F you guys. Gordy. Now look what you've done, silly. Freeze the moment down. <sighs> so a vampire if they don't get any blood, they just they just get weaker. I don't think they die without blood, but they just are weak, very weakened. I think <laughs> like Angel's skin is like cracking, dried up and everything. Looking to see who's 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 still in the title uh, or in the intro. OK, Connor's a regular. Wes is still a regular. OK. Special guest star Andy Howlett. Name sounds familiar, but I, I just can't put a face to it. Oh yeah, Gunn and Fred are just alone in this. Why would these get? Why would they get out? It's like two against five vamps. Or four vamps. That guy looks familiar. I've seen him in a lot of other stuff. King for the girl. Tell us where she is and we're going. Who, Marissa? I thought you guys were... He's always like a supporting actor, though. We just want to talk to her, that's all. Condemn building on Figueroa, top floor. And tell her I want my CDs back, yeah? And we'll pass it along. Now, you know what? Better yet? I think I'll tell her myself. <laughs> Three v one with gun. And vampires are strong, right? He shouldn't be able to take hits from them. <laughs> Working, honey. You've got to start thinking about more than just yourself. I know. I know. The thing with the axe is cool. Huh? 
Yeah, that was tight. It's so beautiful here. Is it? Yes. Yes, it is. I guess it's a bit peaceful. I'm in love with you, Angel. Deep down, I think I have been for a long time. Ever since you were with Buffy. But Angel can't be in love with her, right? Like true love would turn him back to Angelus. I need you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He's hungry as hell though. <laughs> Maybe we should think about asking. Well, I'm glad we talked it over. We already asked him for help twice. Then we'll ask him again. Fred, Wesley doesn't give a damn about us. Have we given him a reason to? He's made his choice. Now he has to live with it. <sighs> oh, <laughs> Wesley, well, it's, it's, it's a nightly occurrence. <sighs> Perhaps it's something we can expand on next time. <laughs> Wesley's starting to, ugh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> He's starting to like you too, though. Yeah, I don't think Wes can resist Lila. Snap breaks over. Time to get back to work. He's starting to fall in love. It's time. <laughs> Yeah, screw screw this woman, man. Like they saved her on like multiple occasions, and she's still like like after them. Like it's super annoying. How are they gonna know exactly where? Well, I guess anything's better than sitting around like eight all day with nothing to do but to fill my bucket. Perhaps you should consider that before slitting my throat. The great Wesley won the prize. Shining beacon with all its good and pure. But oh wait, no. That's before he started banging the enemy and keeping him safe. Oh yeah, she's in the closet while they're banging it out. Like, what the hell? You and Holtz deserved each other. You two have so much in common. Pain, loss, deep-seated lack of anything approaching human. Uh-huh. He keeps turning his back on her, like, what's stopping her from, like, whacking him over the head or something? Easy to figure out which door to kick in when Angel went missing. And not much harder to persuade you to betray everything Holtz had given his life for. Not that it was worth very much. Well, you should know. You were the one that ended it. I'll take away your bucket. Huh? That stopped her? She had a wrench to the back of his head. I don't care how strong he is, he ain't coming back from that. Anyone remember that pregnant lady at the beginning of like season two? Like, did they just trash that storyline or whatever was happening with that? Empire can do. How is Gun taking hits from like three of them and still surviving? <laughs> Come on, handsome. He's gonna kill you. Yeah, I'm you need to be a little more patient, Charles. He's just a boy. You sure about that? Offspring of two vampires? Last time I checked, that's not supposed to happen. And jumping off a six story without busting your coconut kind of sways me to the side of not just a boy. I mean, come on, Fred. His nickname back in court talk was the Destroyer. And unless you put Conan in front of that, I'm guessing it's not. <laughs> that was a nice line. He's Angel's son. That's all that matters. Yeah, he's the one that buried Angel. But they don't know that, but damn. He's watching over the city like Batman.
what are you laughing at? I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, is it like Connor fighting as Angel or? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> now, now go easy, me. Remember the pain. That's a big ass dude. I'm not sleeping with him for information. The place I'm telling you is the chiseled jaw. If you have his confidence, we can play it to our advantage. He doesn't know anything. There's nothing to take advantage of. Except you. Well, staff meeting. Hmm. So Lila actually likes him. Yeah. I thought she was playing, playing the game to get him on her side. Interesting. Wow, so they actually did get him. He could have been like, I guess it wasn't that deep underwater. It, it could have been much worse if they went to an area of the ocean that was much deeper, but I guess it wasn't that far off of, off of the coast. Come on. Well, this is the way to get you back on my good side, Wesley. Congratulations, the big hero. Your friends will throw your party. I wonder what the cake is. He's hungry. Feed him, Justine. <laughs> you probably should have had some blood ready. He should be pretty weak right now. Yep. Cool, he got blood ready. I don't know. Hurry, it's not like he's going anywhere. A vampire can exist indefinitely without feeding. The damage to how our brain functions from prolonged starvation can be catastrophic. Sorry. All the energy you've wasted, save that thing. What? Happy ending. Everything like it was. He hates you. Failed it. Well, this is his chance to get him back on the good side, maybe. Or to at least break even somehow. I'm sorry. I shouldn't run off alone. You think I'd know that by now? It's that big thick melt. <laughs> Your dad's got one just like it. Angel's always flying off, getting himself into trouble. I'm not like him. You're not as strong yet, but... Like, I care what you think? What'd you say? <laughs> Why didn't you go wash him? That was curious. I try to be nice, and you see what he does? He just keeps pushing. It's like, it's like he wants me to lose it. He's testing you. With Angel gone, you're the alpha male. Damn straight. <laughs> hey, Fred knows exactly what to say. And the big dog better close the deal. <laughs> Alpha male. Why is it like this? Well, that's the age old, buddy. They'll fire you off a postcard if anyone is. They call Lorne first? It should be beautiful, right? But no matter how hard I try. Or is he just dream kind of in his imagination right now? Snap too, Buckaroo. The only one turned into ashes is that patricidal puppy of yours. Hell, I'd take him out myself if that wasn't just a crappy hallucination. Okay, yep. Hallucination. All right, we've got a lot of ground to cover, so let's get right to it. But first, let's talk about Lila. Everybody had a chance to review her file? Good. Recommendations? If I could just have a few minutes to explain. I think your record speaks for itself. Volumes. Your failures at Wolfram and Hart outstrip your successes by an uncomfortable margin. Dude, you have a lot of failures, too. Is there something you would like to share? Why haven't we contained the vampire offspring for study? We're assessing that situation. The same way you're assessing Angel. Then why are we trying to pinpoint Angel's location? Lila, this is my corner of the sky. I decide when the sun rises and when it sets. Lack of long-term vision has always been one of your shortcomings. And lack of courage has always been one of yours. You're afraid. 
of Angel and his son. And that's the reason for the Hey, that dude is like, oh, is she really doing this? You're afraid. And fear of Breed's weakness. Oh, I'm not hurt. Is that really what you think of me? Yes. And Mr. Suvardo agrees with me. Uh-oh. This is outrageous. Are you actually telling me that you went over my head? Damn, what the... I did not expect that. Actually. They, I guess they ordered his death? That's crazy. They're all reporting to me now. Get up. Hey, you're no longer on equal terms with her. <laughs> Please, remove it. <laughs> hey, that was surprising. That was cool. Brought you a snack. Ooh, Game Boy Advance, no, uh, Game Boy Color. What is it? Bologna. No tomatoes? Those are really fun. Game Boy Advance is really fun, too. Is it still mad? What do you think? Sorry. Is Connor just trying to prolong this deceiving, this deceivery, whatever? Are you still in that place? Must have been horrible. I know you're still hurting, but I promise it's not nearly as much as you're gonna hurt for what you did to your father. Hmm? They found out. This episode is full of surprises so far. It's <laughs> right, Sparky. Daddy's coming home. And I'm guessing there's gonna be a spanking. He's been down there all alone for three months, and you knew. Is that what you did to Cordy? Stuff her in a box someplace? How could you do that to us? We took you into our home. We cared for you in all this time. How could you do that? How could you- Damn, Fred! Calm down! <laughs> He'll turn on you! Justine, just go away. You're annoying. Sooner or later he will turn on you and all your friends. You just gonna leave me here? You can continue being a slave, Justine, or you can live your life. Your you could get out of those handcuffs like Starlight in the boys. The glove yourself. <laughs> but I don't think Justine has healing powers like her. Or can heal this as quickly as Starlight. Oh, God, he's freezing. I'll get some more blankets. Ah. Sit. He's pretty weak. You could you could actually take him still, Connor, if you really wanted to. You're too weak to take me. Yeah. You really think that? I think so. <laughs> they just stay out of the gun, Fred. <laughs> It's a cool samurai sword in the back. We live as though the world were as it should be, to show it what it can be. You're not part of that yet. I hope you will be. I love you, Connor. Now get out of my house. Angel! That was all he could muster. Or he's in a different plane of existence. God, I am so bored. <laughs> Solid episode. I guess it, it makes sense that they 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 get Angel like that. Um, I thought he would have been buried in a deeper part of the ocean, but I guess they didn't go too far off the coast. Like I said, solid episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, big time nice. Make sure to like the video, comment what you think about this episode, and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, guys. Peace.